So uh, welcome to the Town of Deerfield Select Board, Board of Health meeting Hi, Chris. for October 1st, 2022. The time is 3.30 p.m. Uh, this is a remote Zoom meeting. Meetings normally held at the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access and where required public participation provided in accordance with Chapter 107 of the Acts of 2022, which extended the governor's March 12, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 20 until March 31st, 2023. Meetings are typically broadcast on Frontier Community Access Television. The toll-free number to dial in is 833-548-0276. The meeting ID is 911-604-1580. And should you need a passcode, it's 57. 0012. If you go to the town of Deerfield's website, you will see the uh, calendar and the link for this meeting. You can click on that. Right below it is a Zoom link. So um, meeting uh, meeting attendees should mute their phones, which is star six for landlines, or mute on Zoom unless asking questions or commenting. All attendees should wait to speak until other participants are finished and state your name, where you're from. So I'll call the meeting to order. Um, First, we have public comment. If there's anybody that would like to make a comment on the agenda tonight, um, please do so. I see Anna Lee. Anna Lee, how are you? Hey there. Um, let's see. So uh, hearing no public comment at this moment, I'm going to move forward um, with uh, a quick discussion of Casey has somebody she would like to hire. Yes. Let's do that and get that right out of the way first. So you'll see Chris has joined us. This is Chris. Hey, Chris. Welcome. So um, nice to have you. I send Thank everybody, you very much for having me. <laughs> I send everybody a recommendation memo. Um, Chris brings key experience and skills from both private and public sector employment. Um, the communication and support responsibility for a larger municipality as an executive assistant in the town of Ware, I think would be a real benefit. It makes him an excellent candidate for us. He has dual degrees in political science and communication. And he's also participating in the combination MMA and Suffolk University government leadership and, and management certificate program. That's a graduate level program that includes both theory and practical experience. And the hiring team really believes that the combination of academic exposure and boots on the ground proficiencies would be a benefit. So we recommend that the select board vote to hire Chris at the starting salary of um, step one in the in grade F as the assistant town administer, administrator and authorize me to finalize that hiring process. I make the motion to uh, uh, appoint Chris to the position. And I'll second it. Thank you. Any other discussion on this matter? I just want to say that um, I was on the MMA um, board years and years and years ago when this program, the Suffolk University MMA um, collaborative program was uh, started to be designed. And um, I was a proponent of it because we needed educated um, persons. And so I'm pleased to see that we have someone that um, is interested and um, we'll have creativity at thinking out of the box and uh, we'll have initiatives to get stuff done. So I'm, I'm supportive. That's great. Yeah, public service is a higher calling, no doubt about that. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but we're grateful to have you here. Um, any other discussion? I'll call a vote. Did you get a second? I did get a second from Tim. Okay. Yep. Thanks, Tim. Sorry. And uh, all those in favor? Tim Hilchey, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Ness, aye. Wonderful. Thank you very much. And welcome aboard, Chris. We're looking forward to working with you. Thank you very much. I'm incredibly excited to start. Uh, I'm thrilled to be able to hit the ground running soon, and I really appreciate all of you inviting me in today and giving me this opportunity. That's great. We're That's nice. excited about having you. We got a lot going on. <laughs> it, it's yeah. uh, fast paced, but uh, we're we're so su super happy to have your help and uh, look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna be really busy. So I know that we have a um, a joint discussion with the finance committee on the special. They decided to cancel their meeting. Oh, they did. 
Okay, so it's just us. All it's right. just you. Do you want me to screen share? There's some stuff I just wanted to show you. Okay. I was just... Yes, please go ahead. Yep. I'm just going to run and get a pen. I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right. Let me just make some stuff go away. Can you see the warrant? Yes. Okay. Um, I'll make it a little bit bigger. I don't. It's, sometimes it's hard to see. So if you need, if you need me to um, zoom it out or zoom it in, let me know. So the finance committees. The bulk of the finance committee's um, discussion on Article One was the fact that they don't like the fifty thousand in the contracted services line. It's a one item. It's a one-time item, but it's also related to a capital project. So they think it should be either in its own item, its own article, um, and create a line item for this. But Whoa. they don't want it in in contracted services. So that's their suggestion. My thought is I'm tired of talking about it because we spent 45 minutes talking about it. And really the intent was to create some efficiencies. Um, yes. But they they just aren't hearing that. So we can use ARPA funds for this. We don't have to go ask them for anything. Um, I would like to pull that $50,000 out and just leave the 10 for transparency's sake. Uh, I wanna push back on that a little bit. Um, because it's not really their job to dictate where that's supposed to be. Um, and it, 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 if it's an, an initiation from our select board, that's what we want. The whole idea of this is not to waste a bunch of time and money using the ARPA money, because that, that again, creates all those hoops you've got to jump through. And that's the whole reason we decided to put it in. I mean, I'm open to putting a separate line item, separate article on. Is that going to, is that a huge issue to do? It's not a huge issue to do the issue. The, the problem with that is that we then go back and go through everything all over again with the finance committee because they go article for article. Hmm. Um, it also adds the element of time. Really, we have a big warrant for a special town meeting and we do have the ability to use the ARPA funds. My thought was take it out and then see if Andrea can help us because Andrea can probably help facilitate this. And she's not that expensive. It's anywhere from 750 to 1800 is the highest I've ever paid Andrea. But so, is it the reporting of all of that, that's the whole idea. We wanted to kind of steer clear from all the headaches that go along. Headaches related to it. On the other yeah. hand, maybe it's just <clears throat> to work with Andrea. Jim? Um, I sort of understand where Trevor's coming from. I mean, I don't see the sense of spending $1,800 of money that could be used on construction because the re reporting requirements are thus and such. And I've never, never found that, I, I would like the finance committee to defend the fact that they didn't want to approve this because uh, they, were, they were worried about what line item it was gonna go into. Um, and personally, I, I don't think anybody in the audience is going to give them much support on that. I agree with uh, that. So I, I thought agree. it was an incredibly wait, big waste of time to spend 45 minutes debating which line item it was supposed to go into. Right. I agree. I don't yeah. think, I think we need to explain it that yeah. it's saving us money and staff time and potential. Wouldn't that be 60,000? Yeah. So I'm, I'm back back to where it was yeah okay so i changed it back to sixty thousand. thank you um, they don't have they don't, they have, don't have a recommend. recommendation on that because they of course and they, they may not recommend it which is right. totally fine we can we can speak to it at town meeting and they're uh, planning to have a meeting on october 21st to go over the the final right. things that they haven't rec made recommendations on right so right. we're not going to know this until two days before the meeting or three days before the meeting anyway so yeah I think if we stand up and we say this could potentially cost us $1,800 minimum to um, have this split or you know somebody else to handle it, and and we just don't have the staff time to handle this in right. case there's any issues, and we don't have to want to pay the fifty thousand back if the um, you know the guidelines for ARPA change, we were sticking to one capital big capital project and we've done that right along that's what mm -hmm. we voted and we're going to stick to it and we notified everybody at town meeting what those projects were yes yeah. 
Yes. But we gave them an estimate. We don't know what it's going to look like. I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be more than more expensive than we anticipate, which was part of the reason I was thinking about this, mm -hmm. um, the appropriation piece, because A, Scanlon suggested doing it this way um, because it's easy. It, it saves everybody time and money. Right. On the other hand, um, I can go, I can do it either way. It's just, it okay, let's not work. waste too much we, more time yeah, talking. Too much time. I think, I think we're, we're all in agreement. I don't mean to. I don't mean to interrupt, and but Carolyn's got limited time, so yeah, me too. I got like three more minutes. So what, oh. what would you like? Well, let's talk about the acts real quick, then. Um, right? Is that what, right? Because the, the other two main discussions were around sewer and the acts. Yeah. I did so. There was something that they pointed out to me. So this is the change I made, Tim, because he was watching. I went back into the appraisal and identified the approximate square feet in each property. Oh, that's good. Okay. So that's fine. That I fixed that. Next item. Um, the next one is I also put in, this is the draft survey. Good. Okay. I put it in so that you can see the parcel square footage. That's fine. So we will, I'll add that in like I did with the maps for the okay. sewer system. Perfect. Okay. Um, they had they changed a couple of their recommendations. This is this was one of the contentious discussions, and mm -hmm. I say contentious because we had it took a while. And I think um, we're not all settled on that yet, right? I mean, and that that was the high idea is okay. that we were going to talk about this today, right? And nail that down, and um, really, really, it gets around: do we take all of the guardrails off? I mean, I think town meeting is a huge guardrail, so I. Now that you know, when Tim explained that to me, I do kind of feel better. And I talked to Lisa. I happened to be in Newburyport yesterday, and I, I popped in to see Lisa and say hi. Um, and then uh, I just mentioned this this article. I said, "Hey, what do we do if we do, um, you know, if, if we wanted to put some sort of protection?" Because I'm hearing from people they're worried that we're taking it all off. And she said, just like Tim said, town meeting is the final say on that stuff. So, yeah, the only thing I felt was well if we want to just kind of protect ourselves we could just say up to 20 percent, up to 25 percent, and then that way we have a break on it and um it gives the taxpayer some sort of you know understanding that you know they wouldn't ever pay any more than 20 or 25 percent or whatever you all think the right number is let, um, let so me read ahead, the first let, let me read the first sentence of this thing okay the town comma shall comma by vote determine what proportion of the cost of said system or systems of sewage and sewage disposal shall the town shall pay. Yep. That's pretty, so that's clearly, pretty clear. This yep. is going to be a vote. It's not going to be, we come in with a plan and they approve it or disapprove it. Yeah. So I think it's, Do what you, was suggested last night was um, let's just strike the words provided that it shall pay no more than two thirds of the whole cost. Right. So now we go into the, if we go into the town meeting with that, all the septic system people are gonna lose their Absolutely, hair. they'll lose their minds. Right. Yep. And I think that it's far easier to defend saying, look, the town, meaning all the residents here who are voting, are gonna vote on any plan brought to them about paying for sewer or sewerage related expenses. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's a much easier sell. I understand I what's motivating, you know, um, Mark Brennan was the primary proponent of trying to trying to do something about this saying, oh, you're taking power. His, his objection was you're, you're, you're giving all this power to three people or however many people are gonna be on the sewer commission. Yeah. And I said, no, that's not what the act says. The act says the town has to vote on this. Right. So the other the other thing was saying that, oh, it's meaning that uh, you know there there might be some sewer system where, say, we're going to build pipes down Route Five so that in the future yep. businesses could tie in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that would be a hundred percent gamble on the town because there's no business to hook up to it, right. and the town would be hundred percent responsible for paying for it. If we only make it pay no more than two thirds, then we couldn't do that. Right, <laughs> because right. Because there's nobody to hook in to pay the other third. So yeah. the maximum flexibility with the voters in total control 
is why I feel like this is this is the best way to go about it. But uh, so devil's advocate, do you feel like um, a town meeting could get um, packed? You know, that's always the fear, like, oh, we're going to come in and just get as many people as they want in here and get it passed. You know, that kind of argument. Uh, it's possible. But you know what? It's what possible I find any, is, any item, it, right? Devil's advocate. What I find is that if you're on the losing side of a vote, then you feel like you've been rolled. Um, yeah. If you're not on the losing side of the vote, you feel perfectly happy about it. Yeah. And um, yes, it's potentially possible that sewer users could come in and vote en masse and override, you know, the septic system users. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, that that happens at every town meeting. It's the number of people who turn out, make it's the true. decisions about what the town's going to do. Yep. And it's not it's it's usually not nefarious. Right. It's just that some people are more interested in their town than others. Yeah, it's true. Um, but they did make one good point, and I wanted to raise it with you guys. Okay. Uh, this this um, clause that uh, was added through its select board acting as the sewer commissioners, they raised the point. Well, what if in the future we actually have a sewer commission that's not us? Um. We would have to go in and change the act or we couldn't do it right and i have no problem with through its sewer commissioners or through its sewer commission um yeah. i'm fine which, with that which would, which would still allow the select board to be the sewer commissioners right but in the future if we decided that's too much work for the select board yeah it could we still don't have be to sewer commission. you don't have to go back and change the bylaw right. Yeah. Right. Might have to go back and change the act though right now because I if you read okay. through the original act because these are just the sections that that Lisa su suggested we with Lisa's language after you all discussed this several weeks ago but the rest of the act establishes things and so it might be a okay. bigger question and a bigger yeah change. If, How could it, don't we have the whole act in front of us? No. This, right, but this I mean, is not the whole act. This is just the sections we discussed changing, and we didn't discuss changing the sewer commissioners from the select board. Yeah, no, I'm just I know. Send the act out this morning. I, I'm really sorry. I have to go. I think Trevor and Tim know um, I, how I feel on most of this stuff. Um, we're we're at consensus, so whatever you guys come up with, I'm fine with. All right. Okay. Um. I, Thanks, I, Carolyn. I do feel that um, some of this, I don't want to change too much. That's right. all. I agree with that. I mean, we we have our story. We take it to town meeting and either the people right. support it or they don't. Or they don't. And we go back to the trolling board. Right. Yeah. We have we have our information night to um, tell the story. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris Larrabee is pretty reliable to write a good article. And yeah. um, with with the way it really you know um what you're saying right and not misinformation right. so um i i feel let's just take it to town meeting yeah i agree with that okay, okay. So, uh, I, I, I apologize i apologize that's okay no okay, it's, fine. Carol, it's fine it's a saturday we're doing the best we can it's good all right um, thank you Tim, I'm, okay, I'm okay leaving it without putting a you know um kind of a guardrail on it at no more than 20 percent. i i agree i don't think no more than two thirds would just, we'd look for losing our head at the meeting. Um, but I, I, you know, I'm okay either way, either putting like no more than 20% or, you know, I guess leaving it open as town meeting, you you have to then, you know, create and and sell your project like you mentioned right. the other night. So I'm, I'm okay with that too. Yeah. Yeah. Um... The only thing that made real sense to me was the question about the select board and yeah. the sewer commissioners. Um, and I have the actual act. I went into the state legislation and yeah. took pictures of it. And I don't know that it mentions the select board acting as sewer commissioners um, anywhere else. Um, so, um, well, and if it did, you know, I'm not 100% sure. If it, um, I don't know, if it creates more work for everybody, we could leave it the way it is. And and if we have to come back and change the bylaw when we decide to change us from select yeah. to, 
you know, to just a commission at some point in the future, we can do that. I know you got a lot going on, Casey. So, yeah. well, it's just either way. I, I it's, really, it's kind of, and this is this is always what what the finance committee gets upset about is is basically you hand it to us now and we have to make decisions with no background and well frankly that's not how it works we've discussed no. this for weeks we have yeah. months we have. actually and they can like, either recommend or not recommend that's fine right. yeah. we don't it, we, none of our feelings get hurt if they don't recommend it because exactly. they don't feel comfortable that's fine um, you know, I understand if they're not ready that's that's okay yeah the only other thing i will say is that in section 10 of this thing it says said board may and um if we were going to make the other change i would say something like said sewer commission or said sewer right. commissioners may um so if we're not changing anything let's just what i'll do is I, i'll send you pictures of the red marks i made on this paper and you can ask lisa um you know because i don't think we care one way or the other whether the select no. board's in there or not not at all and the final thing is you probably already fixed this casey um, at the very end, it says, or comma, or take any action there too, period, period. Oh, just to pull out a couple periods. Yeah, there's a, there's an or comma, or. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's, I noticed that last night. Okay. And then there's two periods at the end of that sentence. So other than that, you know. Or take any action relative there too. Yeah. Okay. I just fixed that. Um, and I'm just going to take out those notations wherever I see them for um, the fine, where I have a, a finance committee rec recommendation and then a colon. I'm taking those out because they've, there are places the board, the finance committee has not made recommendations. So any place that they have, you'll see that. Okay. Um, and I can share screen again so I can show you that. Yeah. And speaking of things that we might have to amend in the future, once all the newspapers disappear, where are we going to publish? You know, that's a really good point. It's a sad thing to think about, for sure. Because that's not something that the le the legislature is thinking about at all. They they promulgate all this stuff and they say put it in a newspaper, but that's not how everybody gets their news anymore. That's true. So, okay, did you want to go on to um, the sewer article, Tim? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right, so it's basically deleting section 150, which has reference to a map and one notation. It doesn't, you literally do not have any sewer bylaw per se promulgated under the sewer commissioners. So this creates it. Um, we went through this with them um, last night. Uh oh, Trevor's gone. Sorry, I'm just trying to deal with family stuff too. Um, okay. So we went through this last night. Many of the questions they have relate to how how this is actually going to play out. Tim, what what would you what do you recollect on that? My recollection was that they voted to approve the bylaw, but maybe they maybe they started to approve the bylaw. And then they said, oh, you want to delete chapter 236. Right. And again, um, Mark Brennan sort of dug in his heels and said, oh, this is going to, you know, there's something in chapter 236 about fees that um, you're going to, uh, you know, not going to have public hearings on this. And I can't remember if it's in, Casey, do you remember that if it's in this, um, Section 150, where it, it talks. It is. It's 150 10.3.2 that says prior to adopting new user fees yeah. or rates, the sewer commissioner shall hold a public hearing. We do notice of which, now get this notice of which is public published once per week for three consecutive weeks. That's actually more restrictive than Chapter 83 in the statute. What was it just two weeks then? No, it's a, chapter 83 is once one month prior. Okay. 
So this requires us to do three notifications in a newspaper. I think that makes sense, though. I mean, it's especially when you're changing sewer rates that affect people so dramatically. Right. And, yeah. and so I think I actually think this is more restrictive. Yeah, I, I'm good with all that. I'm not worried if they don't feel it's right or not. It's, I mean, we're going no, to have to recommend it. We so to Tim's point, yeah. They did right. recommend it. But that was the main question about how do we know what the sewer commissioners are doing? And we both, Tim and I both said to them, this requires hearings, just like anything else. Yeah, so, every rate, every, yeah, so we'll do that. That's rates fine. and you, and, and so the other question was betterments, and that's actually something that gets reflected, what betterments might look like, and correct me if I'm wrong, Tim, but when we're working on betterments, yeah. The, how that plays out is in the funding articles for any capital improvement you would do. Yeah. I don't see why, if they really have a problem with it, I don't see why we can't just treat betterments like we would user fees. I mean, we're gonna have hearings about a capital project. Yeah. There's gonna be a hearing from, there'll be discussion by capital. It's several meetings if we end up with another big project. It's gotta go to a hearing process required by the bylaw to add it to the capital plan. And then the financing gets explained with a request for appropriation at town meeting. And in this case, probably through a ballot question, because my guess is if we're gonna do a, another big project, we're gonna do a prop two and a half exempt. Right. And you had both individually made that point to them in different days. I'm good with this. Yeah. Anything else? You the only other thing that's in this, um... I, I sent a list of a bunch of like inconsistencies. Sometimes bylaw is spelled as one word lowercase. Sometimes it's spelled as two word, yeah. well, two hyphenated uppercase B, uppercase L. So I just said, let's pick B, uppercase B, hyphen, uppercase L. Anytime it's specific to the bylaw or this bylaw. And then anytime it's generic, it's, lowercase b y hyphen l a w because then at least we look like we're not spelling the word six different ways um which is oftentimes someone like bruce st peter's will stand up and say hey you know you got all these inconsistencies so Tim's not wrong. <laughs> and the other one is there's a gender thing in the um in the yeah. sections that refer to right we were gonna our, his like his his, his uh yeah, I, I agree. That Change should be it to the representative and, oh, to, and make it gender neutral. Because exactly. we've done that. We actually asked town meeting to let us do that in both the zoning and the general bylaws. So yeah. point well taken. Yep. I just have to do the word search for it. So yeah. okay. M gave me a bunch of things to to address in an email. All right. Um, you one thing, you don't have to don't kill yourself. You can share that email with Trevor and and, uh, and Carolyn. Yep. It, it's really just words yeah. and the spellings and stuff and periods and commas and so um lisa made a comment to me about making sure the maps were available mm -hmm. um for the hearing for information i decided to put them in the warrant because that's very transparent yeah it just shows everybody where where, where things and are so at. you both you see both south deerfield and old deerfield yep. this is south deerfield the above is old deerfield and so now we get to chap the chapter 236 of the general bylaws um what you're getting this, rid of yeah this is so we would get chapter 236 is really regulations they're promulgated by the board of health which is actually incorrect right it should be the sewer commissioners and we'll do those and so at the same time we're creating this sewer bylaw which is much more comprehensive than what exists now mm -hmm. we would take this out mark brennan's concern about it was well there's nothing there there's no safety net there's nothing there well, it's the regulation should be a fluid document. They should be amendable. Right. Amending something like a regulation requires a hearing process. Right. And I said that more than once. And it's still it, it was still a huge, you know, a huge problem. But mm -hmm. I explained what Lisa explained to me, which is you Later adopt time. the sewer bylaw, you request res to rescind chapter 236. Yep. Which indicates regulations. And, but that doesn't happen until, until and unless the, the amendment 
to the sewer bylaw in 150 is approved Correct. by the AG's office. And we know that that's like a 60, 90 day time right. period. Yeah. So, you know, Lisa made it very clear, we have to adopt the regulations. Now we all have talked about that. Yeah. We knew that was the next step, but what you're running into with the finance committee is they don't like the fact that nothing would be in place. And frankly, I don't think that's the case. I think we could have proposed right. regulations ready to be promulgated as soon as we find out something. Yep. We're pretty but close. That, doesn't, that did not satisfy them in terms of comfort zone. That's okay. So what I would suggest if you if you two would want to entertain it is I think that the they wanted to, us to share the regulations with them. Um, you know, okay. and and I I get that there are fees inside the regulations, but it's how much are we, you know, being bound by this? The finance committee has to give an opinion about everything. And I would suggest that at the beginning of the regulations, we put in some language prior to adopting new regulations, the sewer commissioner shall hold a public hearing notice of which blah, 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 you know, three weeks and say, yeah. look, every time we change the regulations, we're going to let you hear what, why we're doing it. Yeah, that makes and sense. make that the first that sentence. It, that's reasonable, especially if yes. it could even be Tim that you refer back to the bylaw in accordance with the bylaw, because yeah. that three weeks is. Yeah, I mean, I just yeah. think it, yeah, in accordance with the bylaw, the sewer commission, you know, we'll hold whatever it, it is. Yeah, but actually state that they will be a hearing because right. then when you know Mark or anyone else ask a question. It's right there. It's the first thing they've read. It's like yeah. the sentence in the act. The first thing in the act is the town shall vote. Right. That's and then fine. there's no there's no confusion. Right. And again, they can either they they can either support it or not. It's okay. We're moving forward. Yeah. Not, this would be a lot better even if we take 236 out. At least we have a sewer bylaw that comprehensively addresses this the the makeup of of what happens with the system. Yeah, it works good for me. I'm 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 pretty comfortable with all of it. So. Um, okay, so there's some stuff I have to fix on that, and then no. so they didn't recommend Article 17 um, to That's remove fine. 236. That's fine. They did their vote on the library was not to recommend. Okay. So, so I I think I caught everything. I actually want Julie to just confirm that. Um, and then what I would say is once I get through the grammar corrections in article 16, I would like to be able to send it out to every, cause I have to send it to yeah. council anyway. I was going to send it to everybody. Um, and then post it and it has, because it has to be posted next week. So you guys yeah. have to approve it. We're and good. so fundamentally with the chain, the grammar changes we've discussed, can you approve this? Yeah, so moved. Yep, seconded. All those in favor? Tim Hilchey, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Okay, so mm -hmm. I will make those changes and have it ready for you to look at. Once I turn it into an Adobe document, um, I'm gonna see if I can make those maps a little bit clearer. They look fine, but yeah, that's good. Because the maps themselves are each on a separate page. And so know that, if I insert the actual map into the Adobe document, it's much clearer to read. Okay, I got to run. Motion to adjourn. Um, yeah, I'll make the motion to adjourn. Anything else? I'm just uh, not to cut it short. I got to get get home and then get to a game. Uh, is everyone good to go? Do you want to take a motion on me inserting the maps? No. In the uh, Adobe document, no, or do you think? That's yeah, do what you need to do. You, you know, yeah, we already authorized you to make the changes. Yeah. Make so, the grammatic okay. changes you need. You're fine. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. I will have this well, ready for you guys to look at and sign. And There's I. <laughs> Trevor McDaniel. I. <laughs> Not to cut you off, but. But to cut me off. Thank you, Casey, for all your work. Yeah. Thanks, Casey. Thanks, thanks for coming on all the time. time.